purely by chance. I was going to do a solo project in 2003. It started off as uh, writing one song with, with another guy who produced Wild for us and Erasure in 1995 called Gareth Jones. We only wrote one song so um, then I thought I would do a, a cover version album of all Phil Spector songs. And then Vince got in touch and said he thought it was a really good idea, let's make an erasure project. So that fell through, that one. So uh, um, two guys, Philip Larson and Chris Smith from Manhattan Clique DJs, uh, did, did a remix for us um, of Salisbury Hill, which was on other people's songs. And then they came on tour with us. And then when the tour had finished, they gave me a CD of four tracks of music and said, would you like to do a collaboration with us? And uh, that's how the whole thing started, really. big fan of Claudia and got um, loads of her records, Gander, Act and uh, first solo album and then I met her at a Christmas party and um, we got on really well and then when Chris mentioned her I thought yeah that would be really good because her voice is very distinctive. And then Jake was, um, uh, we met him backstage after we'd been invited to one of their concerts and uh, we just swapped emails and got drunk and took photos and, and then I sent him the track and said would you be interested in doing this? Too, he would love to. him up to date because in the first place it was it was going to be a, uh, a four track dance EP and I told Vince that and then, it, then we carried on working together um, me and the boys and then we had six songs then ten then twenty so it kind of turned into an album but Vince was cool he was really cool he heard the finished thing and then uh, did a remix for us of the first single
go out to the kind of more electro clubs, which are quite, which are kind of underground places. It's all been leading up to Electric Blue coming out, so I've been doing mostly PAs at those kind of clubs, which is kind of, it's a great vibe at those places. But I think in some ways it's more nerve wracking doing small clubs than it is. I mean, I don't like doing particularly too big a gigs. Maybe 5,000 is the most that I would like to do because you kind of start losing contact with the audience. But playing these nightclubs is uh, more nerve wracking because the people are kind of right there in front of your face. And also it's a completely different audience to what Erasures play to. And it is a bit like, I do feel like a Christian going out in front of the lions. It says my heart is only two. There's nothing left I can do. I got that feeling you won't go. Where's the symbol of love? You blew a hole through my heart. Crushing me right from the start. With your love. Philip is the musician, Chris is like a club promoter and kind of an arranger and uh, half the songs I took the music home with me and uh, came up with the top lines, the melodies and the words and then other songs we built from scratch at, at the studio. The albums tend to be uh, like a fantasy diary really and um, I kind of try to make all these things up about breaking up in relationships and all, all kinds of things. And also with uh, Electric Blue, it was more, I just felt freer in some way, because it's something I've been waiting to do for a long time. Erasures are going concerned, so this is kind of like a break for me, doing Electric Blue. Part of doing this solo album is just to make people realise that I'm out and about and doing things, you know, and I would like to do other things. Now I'm caught. 